Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dream Moons Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Virgo. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Come in, cross watchers, grab a seat. Alright? I won't hold you guys any longer. Definitely want to get right into your reading. Um, just to let you guys know, I just got a few new decks for you guys. The first one that I'm using is Secret Messages from the Heart. Okay? This could be your person. This could be um, you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And yeah, you know, and this is why I strongly recommend that you guys subscribe, 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 because you just never know when you're going to need to hear this message, okay? Um, there's no time in tarot, as well as there's no gender in tarot, okay? Just take what resonates. All right, one card. Thank you very much, universe, ancestors, angels. Ooh, any messages you would like for... Sorry about that. Definitely sorry about that. Um, any messages you would like for me to relay back to the sign of Virgo, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Two, three more cards. Yeah, we're going to do four. Let's do four spreads. Okay. Let's see what the universe has in store for you guys and how your person is feeling. I hope you guys are feeling good. All right, two cards. Two more, please, and thank you, universe. Two more. Okay, thank you. One more. This this cards are giving me, um, these decks are giving me, like, Valentine theme. You know, I'll show you. All right, so, got your four cards laid out. The first card, we have too many problems in this relationship and the roller coaster side the roller coaster ride is making me ill maybe we should call it quits for now okay and this is the card all right all right i want to travel with you and create wonderful memories are you up for an adventure oh this person sounds confused <laughs> or, or you know don't know what, what they want. I believe that we are destined to be together in this life. Our connection is special and has been blessed by the angels. Okay? So I believe that this person, as well as you, are sure that this is a connection that needs to, you know, needs to be. You know, when you know someone is 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 right for you, there's a reason why they came into your path. I always say that it may be a lesson, you know, they may be there for the season, whatever it is, they are supposed to be in your life for a reason, okay? The last card, the silence between us is really bothering me. Is this really over? I mean, it all makes sense. It makes sense, okay? So let me gather, you know, the energies here, all right? Um, I feel like you guys are in separation right now with your person, okay? This person is finding it hard to believe that you guys are in separation right now, okay? And there's a lot of pointing fingers, a lot of, you know, people giving unnecessary advice, buttoning your guys' business, and you guys, you know, either one of you guys are taking advice for certain people that y'all guys are not so, you know, should be taking advice towards, but sometimes you just don't know. At times, you, you venture off and you look to seek guidance from others, not ex you know, I'm not expecting yourself to actually take it, but then you take it because then you recall the conversation that you had with someone else about your situation, and then you try to implement it in your, you know, in your um, situation, relationship, whatever it is that you're dealing with this person, and then it becomes their dynamic. And when I say their dynamic, is because you are going by their advice. You're going by what it is that they did in their relationship. And it's crazy because we go off and we ask people for advice with others who are not even in a relationship. Or even if they're in a relationship, their relationship is just as complicated. Or if not more. So it's like really what it is that they're doing that I should even do because it's not even working for them. 
that's why there's something called free will. You're able to take on what it is that you grasp from your relationship and what it is that you need to work on. Stop worrying about what it is that your person needs to work on. What it is that you contribute. What it is that you can do to elevate the relationship in some in some way. Okay? And at times, you know, in relationships, separation is definitely needed. And some of us are scared of separation because we believe that it's over when, it, when we're separated. But that's not what it is. And because we fear that, we stick around trying to, you know, see what it is that we can do to help the situation when in reality, all it needs us to do, all the universe needs you to do is step back and relax. Have patience. Allow divine timing to take its course. Let go of control issues. Okay? And this is what I'm getting, the energies that I'm getting. All right? And and I believe that this person knew the moment that they seen you, the moment that they realized that you guys were connected in different ways than, than they ever connected with someone else, they already knew. But then there goes pride, there goes ego, there's a, there goes insecurity, there goes that controlling issue, there goes old habits. You know, there's a lot of things that play into why certain things slow down or stop. So what we need to do is gather, it, gather what we're able and that we have control of. And it's us, our feelings. Never mind anybody else's feelings. Learn to control yours. Figure out what it is that you need to work on to better this relationship, better you. Even if you don't make it with this person, what about the next person? Are you willing to bring the baggages that didn't work in your last relationship or this relationship onto our next one? So what you got to do is value what it is that you need to work on as an individual. Okay? But let's let's go into this because I feel like your person has a lot to say. You may have a lot to say, okay? But don't know how to come together. And the reason why you guys don't know how to come together is because you guys allowed a lot of people in your, in your business when it was not necessary. Okay? And most of the issue is other people. Because you didn't take on that free will. You didn't listen to your own intuition. And the person didn't listen to their own intuition. And here we are. Here we are stuck on what it is and what could have been, okay? But there's a chance for everything. But it depends on what moves that you make and what it is that you listen to. Are you actually listening to your partner? Are you actually listening to yourself on the needs that you want, okay, to better your relationship? What it is that you need, okay? But let's dive more into this, all right? All right. So we're using um, the trigger, um, or ooh, oracle card. Okay, all right. Well, these cards wanted to come out. The energy is definitely real. I apologize. These are travel size cards, so bear with me. I need one more card, universe, but we can read these. All right. I will start an argument with my partner to get attention. Okay. This person will literally rile up such, like unnecessary issues just to get a reaction out of you. Just to, you know, m and most likely talk about certain stuff that they are afraid to talk about because they don't know how to approach you with certain things that's been bothering them. Okay? When I feel powerless, I will act in manipulative ways. Hello? Hello? Okay? Don't, don't be fooled with... How they approach you with certain things. This is just to start a conversation. This is just to start something. Well, in reality, because you don't, you're not, you're unsure. You would think that this person's coming on with an argument, you know, with towards you. When in when in reality, no, this person just wants to be able to communicate with you and probably just don't know how to start the conversation. So of course they're gonna bring up, stir up, say certain things that probably get you off the edge, probably wake you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably open your eyes to actually talk to them, okay? And vice versa, take what resonates, okay? Um, and when my feelings of shame surface, I will avoid everyone close to me. This is why your person leaves. When you sitting there thinking that this person ghosts you, nah. At times, they just don't know what to say to you. They don't know if they say this or say that, you're going to leave. 
So what they do, they go into hermit mode. And I'm talking to Virgos who also, you know, are very familiar in going into hermit mode. Okay, and this could be you that's going into hermit mode. All right, the next last card, I become jealous when I don't get enough attention. This person's not feeling feeling secure in this relationship. And it could be you. You're not feeling secure into this relationship. Okay? You're not. You don't feel like this person's giving you what it is that you're asking or accepting what it is that you're offering. And the only reason why is because they hold back a lot of fear. Fear if they take on this love that you're offering, will it last? If And if they had player ways or mischievous ways, they're wondering if they let go of this, will this last? All I can say, Virgo, is you can only do what it is that you do best, and it's be you. Love unconditionally for the right people. Because we feel we fail to do this, because I'm a Virgo myself, in two placements, in Libra and one, okay? I, I know that we love, and when we love, we love hard. And sometimes we got to, you know, be loud about it. Let that person know I'm here, but never put someone higher than you would put yourself. Because this is where it comes with manipulation. Because some people know what they do and they want to see how hard you would go for them. Better yet, how, how hard would you go for me? Let's make it an equal give and take. Let's balance each other. If your person understands where you're coming from, it will gradually come where it needs to come, okay? Nothing will be beneath the surface. It will rise to the occasion when it's necessary. And stand firm on what it is that you want, Virgo. And stand firm in what you won't tolerate, Virgo. Because when people come into your life, they either come for a lesson, for you or for them. But one thing for sure, never let yourself go or never love someone more than you love yourself. Okay? Period. So this person is a little bit, you know, confused on where you guys are at. If you really want this, go after it. Because this is what you want. Don't allow this person to slip through your fingers because of what is or what not and confusions or be stuck in your head. Know what it is you want. Ask the universe exactly, precisely what it is you want. And it will come to you. But one thing for sure, just don't allow anyone to take you for granted. At all. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Till next time, Virgo. Peace.